what past defense has come along as, as a unit? Obviously, uh, I think our improvement over the last couple of weeks has been dramatic. Um, I think that uh, we would like to continue to improve. I think our kids uh, have taken that personally, and they should. And I think that uh, uh, the staff and the, the, the commitment to that uh, over the last uh, you know, couple of weeks for sure, three, four weeks, I'm not sure when, has been uh, consistent. And I think we're going to continue to improve that. And what kind of challenge is Illinois? Well, I mean, 600 yards of offense on Saturday. The quarterback threw for 500 or whatever. He's the number one passer in the conference, so there's no question. It's a dynamic passing offense. I think he's a, you know, he's a, not only is he a four-year starter, but he's a good four-year starter. And he, and he, he does a great job of finding the open receiver. Does a great job of extending plays with his feet uh, and throwing the ball down the field. And they have quality receivers, big kids uh, that are making a lot of catches right now in space and and uh, doing a really good job of getting open. Kerry, you said it's been dramatic improvement the past couple of weeks. How do you improve dramatically in the middle of the season? What do you have to do to get so much better? Well, I think I, here's what I think. I think in, in everything in life, you get what you emphasize. And I think that pen, depending on who your opponent is and what your personnel is and the things that you have to do uh, from a scheme standpoint, you are charged with trying to eliminate uh, you know the things the other team does well, and and I think for us, you know, we found ourselves in a situation where we needed we we could you know it was obvious we got to get better at this, and so uh, it was a it was a huge area of emphasis on the part of everybody, and uh, and I think you changed a little bit of your practice habits, and I think you changed a little bit of your scheme, and you changed a little bit about how you're doing your business, and you get better. Did you, I mean, did you, did you challenge those guys? What do you do? From the standpoint of trying to bring that out of your guys. Well, uh, you know, I, I I would say this. I think our kids are. Uh First of all, they're very aware football players. I don't think that you would have you would say to them, oh, "Are you? Do you understand this?" I think they get it. I think our kids probably have a better feel for that than anybody. I think obviously you challenge players every day in every way, but the er the area of great emphasis over the last month or so has been that, and uh, the kids have responded can you really talk, well. Yeah. Can you talk about, for example, Noah Spence, just his rise in the last several games, Right. What, how that obviously helps the secondary, but uh, what's kind of clicked from him from your vantage point, from your <coughs> viewpoint, Kerry? About well, he's playing really, on. you know, and, and, and Mike would answer that better than I would, but I can tell you this, he's playing really fast, and, and I think when we play fast, we're really good. I think one of the one of our strengths is our overall speed on defense, and so getting players in movement, getting players in space, giving the opportunity to use that speed is an advantage for us. And and I think Noah is finding himself in some situations where he can use his speed and athleticism. Noah always plays hard. He's played hard from the day he's gotten here. Mm -hmm. uh, but but I think his skill level, technique wise, and being able and finding himself in some one on one matchups in space, he's doing a really good job. Talk about the uh, I don't know if uh, conundrums a white word, but they're 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 running back. Is leading them in rushing, but also Josh Ferguson, but also leading them in pass catches. Sure. Just talk about the I don't know the challenge of like picking him up, so to speak, and dealing with that from a from a defensive standpoint. Well, I think what they do offensively is they put you in a, in a lot of tough situations. They're trying they're trying just like we are. They're trying to find one on one matchups and they're trying to isolate athletes on uh, bigger players in space and those kinds of things. And so when you take a running back out of the backfield, they get an empty. They get use him on in the screen game. Mm -hmm. They use him out of the backfield in in pass routes. They're trying to isolate him on, on uh, linebackers and those kind of things and, and throwing the ball, let him, let him get out in space. And so our job is to, first of all, identify that and then also be in some on-body coverage with him, you know, not to let him get yeah. the ball in space. Hey, Kerry, when you lose a player like you lost at safety, yeah, is there a, does it take a while for everybody in the, on the unit at least to kind of adapt? Is there like a moment of shock there where you think, oh, well, we don't have that guy anymore? It's not just filling in another person for the spot, but it's like everybody coming to a to reason to the fact that you're not the same as you were. You're gonna everybody might have to do a little things a little bit different. Absolutely, you're talking about a great player, a great leader, and a great communicator on a field. Somebody who's been playing that position for a long time and has complete understanding of it. And that that that. Uh, 
encompasses all of the players around him. And so when you take that piece out, we replaced him with a great player. CJ went in and played that spot, but now you've changed some of the dynamics of the communication and, and all of those kinds of things in the back end, and that, and that stuff's really important. You don't replace great players instantly unless you just have so many, it doesn't make a difference. There's a reason why a kid's a, you know, a, a, an all Big Ten player. So that, that there is a transition time. The, the, the burden on all, for all of us is to always have the next man in ready and uh, you know to have them but you know the great players are great players they're hard to replace how's Pitt done though in your regard oh Pitt's done great but I think Pitt's played it very well I think the interception of course a, a couple weeks ago was a huge play mm -hmm. uh, but but I think Pitt's played well I think Pitt's played well also for his time here he's kind of like that utility guy that's played a lot of spots you know he's been a nickel he's been a strong safety he's been a free safety he f plugs in and fits in and and I think he's done a, a very very admirable job and uh, uh, we'll look for him to continue to develop and improve over the next uh, month or so. Okay, you guys were on a bye week, and not that you coaches get to go off and eat bonbons and <laughs> sit on a beach, but no. if, if you got to see some of the games, Alabama, uh, Baylor, Oregon, do you watch those games as a position coach and wonder how your guys would you know, match up sure against you do. those teams? And sure you do. I was texting with Bradley Saturday night watching the game, talking about uh, individuals, talking about techniques, talking about – how different teams play different things, and guess what? He was watching the same game I was, and isn't that a surprise? And, and uh, you know, uh, you you know, we're football junkies now, you know, and so my wife and I are batting down watching games, you know, on the bye week, you know, when, when I'm not recruiting, and uh, that that was that was kind of enjoyable, you know, and and uh, didn't get to see too much of Thursday night because I was in the plane. I got to see the very end of it, but uh, you you do watch those guys. You do you know not watching them as a scouting report, but you want to watch good teams play and see how their kids stack up against your kids. Absolutely. Feel like, you, feel like you could hold your own. Your guys could hold their own uh, against those teams. Well, I wouldn't. You know, I'm not a place to evaluate that. I would like to think that we can hold our own against anybody. We're looking forward to playing anybody and everybody that shows up. Can you talk about some of the young guys that are redshirting? Uh, Smith, uh, Eli Apple, um, Gary on Conley. How are they dealing with it? I mean, especially a guy. Well, like nobody's redshirting yet. You, well, you know, know what I mean? they're they're. they're, they're this too. Yeah. Well, they're not playing. They, they 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 compete very hard in practice. You know, we met with all of our players uh, over the bye week and talked about did a self evaluation of every kid, looking at things we can improve on. Uh, every position group did position group did that, and uh, they've got things they've got to get better at, and they're they're eager to get better and work hard, and they understand the challenges that face anybody playing here at any position. And, and uh, they're going to be, you know, they're working on it. When a kid comes in early, like enrolls in, in time for winter, um, mm -hmm. he probably doesn't expect to redshirt. Like you said, he still might not redshirt. You might need to activate him. But is that tough on him? Uh, no, I'd remind everybody, as I do them, Tyvis Powell did exactly the same thing. And Tyvis Powell's a pretty good player. Bradley Roby did too. Uh, exactly. So I, I don't, to me, it's, it's a matter of, a necessity. It's a matter of how you fit in the system and you know how well you progress. Playing out there in space at that position is not easy, and you you it, it's a challenge for anybody. And so those young kids are and they're doing really well. Uh, I'm proud of all of them, uh, but they also are going to get better as time goes on. Coach, Coach, can't hear a buzz about uh, moving up one spot in the BCS and being one step closer to that game, or do you not concern? Or do you hear from the players, or do you not concern yourself with it? No, nah, we don't. That that's Coach Meyer stuff, and that's that's big team picture stuff. And yeah. our room, we're talking about a guy who just threw for 450 yards, and how we're gonna 57 passes last week. I mean, seriously, that's really our focus. I'm sure they they talk about it, but it's not a big deal for us right now. How about Cam Cambero? Cambero's coach. Yeah. How's he coming along for you? Really well, playing really well, playing on a couple special teams, getting a few yeah. snaps at the end of games. You know, big kid. He's gonna continue to develop, and uh, and uh, he's very. Very conscientious, works very hard. Really like him. So he's, a, he's a corner, not a safety. You think at this point? He's a corner. He's okay. playing corner. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. From We're a fundamental talk. standpoint on special teams, sort of across the board, whether it's kick coverage or <laughs> you know punt protect, yep. everything. How has that been? It seems like there haven't been that really many breakdowns of things that you guys have sort of. I, faced I can't up. imagine anybody works harder on the fundamentals of special teams than the Ohio State Buckeyes in the country. And uh, we stress it, we meet, we talk. I mean, Coach was going over punt today, and we are looking at single individual players 
with their hat in hands and snagging to get off in coverage. You know, that for a good bit of time today. And talking about individual technique with, with all of the special teams kids. Uh, you know, there's a reason why they, I think they play well fundamentally. We're, we're not a finished product. We've got to get better uh, on every unit. But at the same time, I think our kids play hard. And I think their fundamentals are sound. You guys Couple had, more questions. we saw the injuries with the piranhas last year. Right. You lost guys. Right. You lost some guys in punt protect. You had a couple punt blocks. How important is it? Do you feel like you've been able to keep, keep many of the same guys out there? I think I think we're I, I think we're doing a good job of that. I think we're continuing to infuse energy. I think our kids understand the pathway to playing on the field on offense or defense is through special teams, and so they fight to get on there, and that's a good thing. You got guys who want to be on special teams. They're coming up and saying, "Coach, I I can do that. Can I have a try? Can I?" And that's that's a really exciting thing. You, you're talking about really good quality players that want to be on special teams because they know they have to be in order to play offense and defense. Duran Grant seems to be playing really well. How yeah. is that accurate? Just keep. Talk very accurate, Grant. very accurate, wow. not a finished product. Got got lots of areas to improve, but he is playing hard. He's playing well. Um, I'm excited about his improvement as the season has gone on and uh, really look forward to him continuing to improve. I know this is his first year as a starter. Just a quick follow-up. Yeah. Um, is it just him getting a chance? What's, what is better about him than last year, for example? Well, just all, every individual technique is better. He's a better man cover player. He's a better press player. He's doing a better job in his tackling in the open field. He's doing a better job of understanding what we want him to do and knowing his role in the defense. That's maturity. That's development. It comes from playing, but it also comes from just practicing, you know, and, and understanding what we're asking that guy to do. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate sure. it. Sure. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Clay, you got one more? If you don't mind, you've been around this region a while. Yeah. Illinois had pretty good talent over the last yeah. 10, 15, they still do. 20 years. Yep. Shieldhouse, what, are you surprised they're in this bit of a rut? And, and just talk about Shieldhouse as a quarterback. I think Shieldhouse is a great quarterback. I think he's dynamic with his feet. I think he does a great job of extending plays. I think he does a great job of putting them in the right play. You can see him changing plays, changing projections, changing the call at the line of scrimmage, and then finding the open receiver. I mean, he is not throwing bad balls. He's throwing to the right guy on time versus the right coverage. And uh, that's going to present a great challenge for us. He is obviously well coached. I think Bill Cube's done a great job with their offense this year and, and, and their dynamic. We're going to have to play extremely well on Saturday. Real quick, Coach, Last just, one, Matt. Um, just about Craig Catalan. He works with you on special Yeah. Just, better you know, I'm glad you asked me about that because, first of all, as a, uh, our, my family, <clears throat> I would like to say thank you to all the men and women who have served, who have kept us free. And Craig Cataline is one of them. Craig Cataline is a hero. He's a guy who went and served tours of duty in combat. And then now he's getting his education. Now he wants to be a part of the Buckeyes. And what he does for us on kickoff, what he does for us from a practice standpoint, what he does for us from an energy standpoint uh, is remarkable. I love Craig Cataline. I don't think there's any better man anywhere. And uh, I would fight for him anytime, anywhere, any place because I know he would do the same for all of us. Cool. Yep. What do you think right. of Cam making the right guy top 10? How about that? I would say this about that. That is much more a function of Devin Smith and the guys who get down the field and cover and eliminate returns and kill the ball inside the five-yard line and all that stuff. Not that Cam hasn't had a good year. He has. Cam's had a great year. Cam's had a great year. But that punt team that group of guys and the way they cover and the way they get down the field to eliminate the opportunity for the other team to return the ball is special. And, and we're all the beneficiaries of that. And you watch Devin Smith, I'm telling you, you can put some clips on a film and you're talking about your starting wide receiver getting down the field to cover a punt and keeping the other guy, making a fair catch again and again and again, and it's extraordinary. All right, thanks. Thanks, thanks coach. coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Y'all have a good day.